For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you today. Could you do me a favor real quick and give me a big smile? I know it feels silly, but do it. Your smile can brighten anyone's day, including your own. So go ahead and smile for me. Ooh, see a fine babe. For today's three in one get ready with me, I am loving this hair from Mega Look. I love a wig that I can show you guys that is hassle free. You won't stress at all. Like the color came exactly like this and it was already pre-plucked and all I had to do was bleach the knots and it was perfect. Now, excuse me guys, I may be a little shy in this video because I need my lashes done and my nails just three days away from my nail appointment and lash appointment but we're still in this thing but anyway back to the hair all of the information will be down below in the description box along with any discount codes that i may have for you now let's get into this hair shall we i have it installed already gluelessly just some regular got to be glued in there it's not too shabby it could be a little touched up you guys know i take off my wigs almost every day but i've been so in love with this hair i refuse to take it off and literally everyone I've seen in this unit, they look so beautiful in it. I feel like a lot of you can pull this hair color and style off. But yeah, I'm going to now just clean up that lace, get it looking fresh again. And I'm going in with Nairobi mousse. I really do love this mousse, guys. It's the best mousse that I've used. And I'm just going to swoop my baby hairs and just get it along the hairline of that lace. I really do like using mousse over and over rather than continuing to use spray, gel, or anything on the baby hairs or the edge of the wig because it builds up a lot. Whereas mousse, it's difficult to build mousse up, you know? And once it sets in, it just takes your hair back to that fresh install look, which I love. And it doesn't make it crispy because one thing we don't like is some crispy lace and edges. So yes, I'm just gonna put that mousse along the hairline. Whether you have baby hairs or not, mousse is really all you need to touch up an install and see how i'm not like really putting a lot of product just enough to like get it on the hair and then i'm going to take my elastic band and set those edges and tings into place while that's setting i'm going to split oh i love this color so much can you tell <laughs> this hair is going to look so so pretty once it's curled like it's just going to enhance the color even more you'll see so i'm taking this one and a half inch wand which is kind of huge yeah, love this wand, by the way. I'm gonna try to link it down below if it still exists because I bought it years ago. But I'm just flat wrapping the hair around in large-ish chunks away from my face. You're gonna see how pretty these curls come out. But, oh, wow. And it makes the color come out, like I said. So just continuing through the hair, I sped it up for you guys because you know how it goes. In five sections, bada bing, bada boom, my hair is curled. I don't like to waste time on that i am absolutely in love with this wig i cannot stop staring at the highlights and the edges and everything it's like they literally customized it perfectly for me you guys know how much i love my blondes and my highlights and things like that but look at that we're already at the top of the hair i comb it out with my fingers just so it doesn't end up too tight of a curl and then move on to the other side and repeat the same thing curling away from my face wrapping the hair flat against the wand so that every piece of hair is getting that heat and being involved and I don't come out with spiral curls, but you know, flat flat curls like a curling iron would. I don't know why I don't like curling irons. I just think it's easy not to have to clamp that, you know, piece of the device and just wrap the hair around freely. But yeah, once I do my other bang, all of it is curled. Look how beautiful the color looks with curls. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna use the wand now to just press the top of my head I really like effortless stuff, guys. No hot comb today, none of the extra stuff. Just one hair tool was able to do all of this. And look how pretty that is. My hair is finito, but I'm gonna leave that band on just so it can, you know, keep my lace nice and tight while I do my, I need to go wash my hands while I do my makeup. And today we are doing a full glam, yay. Guys, did you know that me, Sophia, used to spend two hours on her makeup? <laughs> and now I've gotten it down to 45 minutes and I absolutely love my routine now more. And it takes less time and I have to hurry, yo, because I decided to use natural lighting for this video. And don't get me wrong, I love the sun, need that vitamin D, but it is the middle of December, Houston. Like, why is it 
Sunny and hot all of a sudden. I'm really playing games with this video, but we're going to see how the lighting goes. I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder foundation. And guys, I absolutely love this foundation. It is my favorite foundation in the world right now. Look how good it looks on my skin. Now, this is my summer shade. I'll definitely go up a shade lighter now that it's getting colder outside. But oh my gosh. The way this foundation finishes on your skin, this is gonna be my number one foundation for a very long time. I just know it. But after I pat in my foundation and it's set, I'm gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And people have different mixed feelings about this concealer, but uh, <laughs> let's not cap and say it's not one of the best. Literally lifts my face like tape, and I love that for me and my high cheekbones. Now, obviously, this concealer is not even... <laughs> three times lighter than my shade. It's more like five times lighter than my foundation shade. And that's exactly what I want. This is not necessarily my makeup routine or my tutorial video officially. This is a three in one. So I'm gonna just beat in my face today, but I can't wait to drop an official. <laughs> this is Brito. I can't wait to drop an official makeup tutorial. I can't stop giggling at myself because I know you guys are watching this like Sophia, this concealer is bright as hell. Like, what are you doing? But trust me, it's a trust the process type of thing, okay? I am a sucker for a bright under eye, okay? And I know when I first put it on, it looked mad crazy, but with enough blending, do you see that? It looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty setting powder and banana bread and ooh, I forgot to highlight my chin real quick with a regular regular shade concealer, not too bright. And then I'm going to set the setting powder into my skin. Now, usually I'm not this heavy handed anymore with the whole setting powder thing. I don't really bake anymore, but because this is a new container, it came out real heavy onto my puff puff thing. But yeah, this puff puff thing is legit. Like it's worth all the hype that has been getting online. I ordered a whole bunch of these on Amazon and I have it linked down for you below in my Amazon store front, but Guys, it really helps a lot with blending and setting that setting powder. Love Huda Beauty setting powder. It's the best. Highly recommend, even over my Chanel. But yeah, I'm going to dust it off. And as you can see, that sun is not playing with me. It keeps changing. And it's upsetting me and my homegirls because, girl, I'm going to have to keep moving and moving this camera. But we're going to just make it shake. I'm almost done with my makeup, thank God. I'm gonna take my MAC bronzer and just start to bronze my whole face, bring that warmth back into my skin. I apply it to my forehead, the perimeter of my face, my cheeks, around my mouth, around my jaw, all of that, and even on top of my eyelid. And I don't think I included contouring my nose, but I start from that inner brow and just take it down my nose bridge and, you know, just get everything all bronzied up. And once everything's all bronzied up, I'm gonna go into my contour from Charlotte Tierberry and just really define that contour even deeper and bring my face together. Mm. And you already know what's next, blush. <laughs> I'm gonna take my favorite blush palette from Artist Couture and use that warm reddish color to just blend my bronzer into my highlight. And then take this pale pinky color from MAC called Dainty. If you watched my last Get Ready With Me, you know how much I love this blush and how good it looks even without a full beat. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just use it to blend that under eye brightness into my cheeks and it looks so, make everything seamless. For more perfection, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Powder, very, very bright color I'm using here on the teensy weensy inner corner of my eyes and just patting it out to just give me that airbrushed bright under eye look that I love. And then lining my lips, of course, with Makeup Forever Limitless Brown. It goes on like butter. I absolutely love it. Defining my Cupid's bow to enhance the shape of my lips. And then <laughs> I'm going to use my NYX Butter Lip Gloss just to blend that lip liner into the natural color of my lips. And that looks so pretty. Now I'm gonna take my Booksome Lip Gloss in White Russian Sparkle. And I love this lip gloss so much. It's definitely top two and not two now. My Beats Sephora plumping. It is a plumper. Um, but oof, ah, those glitter sparkles just send me. 
and the pale pink just looks so good with the mauve under lip my new favorite lip combo now my charlotte tilbury to set everything into place and boom the look is complete i feel like a model this looks so 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 good thank you once again mega look for sponsoring this video this hair is beautiful and i think you guys should all get it for the holidays get it for the new year it'll look popping on you i promise but yeah the hair and makeup is done i made it through with this sun i wish so much that i recorded the outfit portion right after filming this hair and makeup because it came out like so much better than last week but yeah, I actually had the pleasure of working with one of my favorite clothing brands last week. Can you guess what it is? I think you've seen it on Instagram already. Club London. And I recreated the same makeup look and hair for this reel. It was for like holiday events, winter looks. And it was, well, winter in Houston. But it was cute. Like this nude two-piece set that I matched with some gold accessories and a Louis Vuitton nude belt. It had feathers on the sleeves. The front was Tieable. the pants fit amazing for a thick girl like me and i will link this outfit down below in the description box i believe i got it both in a size large i think the top was a size eight and the bottom was a size 10 and it was super super duper cute this was low-key my favorite look but everyone on instagram commented that they liked the last outfit but on to the next outfit is this blue blazer with a feather sleeve it is so cute, definitely my style. I got it in a size eight and I matched it with silver accessories and jewelry. I definitely could have went with a size 10, but the eight just fit more fitted. I would have liked to have it larger so I can, you know, customize it and have it seemed exactly, but it looks nice. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, last outfit is this black evening gown from them as well. Flows all the way down to the floor and has that cute high slit. I still feel like it's very classy though and it complemented my body so well. I felt so beautiful in it. This was everyone's favorite look on Instagram, but comment down below and let me know what your favorite is, YouTube family. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely be seeing y'all later in my next video, which is also dropping today. So make sure your notifications are turned on. Make sure you are following me on all my socials to keep updated. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like the video and comment if you haven't. And make sure you are subscribed to become a fine babe. See you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Trouble.